Carlos, and today we are finishing up our conversation of yesterday, the chemi clean. We were dosing the tanks, and I just wanted to show you guys another side of the thing. So there are dinos and cyno. Uh, so what we are going to use uh, today is the Dino X. The chemi clean did a wonderful, wonderful job and removing all the algae from the sand that was in here. Um, but the front display tank, as we were working on it, some of the problems weren't the Sino, they were actually Dino. So just to kind of show you guys a little bit of difference, um, I'll have to add some pictures later on. But the rocks were covered, and a lot of that was due to the long hours, a lot of lighting, and we just had to adjust some things in our aquarium that I, I had overlooked just because I've been so busy. But we did add more sand to help out filtration. We really only had a very, very thin layer on the bottom. And the problem we were having with that is no anaerobic bacteria gets a chance to build up because with the high current and the turbulence we have in here, that sand was always getting tumbled around. So we're fixing that problem now. We did add in some black sand. So we're gonna stir this up in a little bit and um, We'll have a nice little combo. I just didn't want to mix up any of the sand really at first just because it's not good to do for a tank. I know this is still a new tank and there's not really that much bacteria in there yet and that's one of the reasons why we're having the Sino and the diatoms. Um, but like I said, we're fixing it all now. We're gonna balance the system. We're gonna dose it with the Dino X and I will show you guys how that turns out. But. They should be beautiful. Your tank should look super white. The sand, that's why we have cleanup crews. That's why you need a balanced aquarium, like sand sifting starfish, Nasaria snails, and different things like that, just to keep it looking good. So, on the chemistry side, if you have dirty water and high phosphates and nitrates and all that, you are gonna have more algae outbreaks, but it can happen to anyone. Cycling your tank, it's extremely common. And when you rush your system, even putting lights on a new tank can be an issue. So it's better off to take your time. You want to add products like this, like seed. They're absolutely wonderful when starting off. Um, before you add anything to your tank, your sand and rock, you should literally add the seed and just run your tank for a few weeks, weeks before you ever um, add any fish or anything else, really. So. So there you go, that's a little bit of that. <coughs> and this is made in Germany. That's the way you know it's good. Uh, a lot of the good reefing products come from Germany. There's tons of enthusiasts over there. So it's nice to find out what works for people who've been in the hobby for 50 years. But this is incredible. We're gonna dose it tonight. You will see the difference. The Chemi Clean, we turned off the lights, which helped out for a day or two and got rid of, like I said, all the Sino, but now the diatoms, um, we're gonna take care of them. So, this is just a quick video. I'll do a follow-up later. You do have to dose the stuff. You have to go by how many gallons you have, and you wanna follow the instructions correctly. So, you wanna turn off your media reactors, or if you have anything like that, or even some of the sterilizers, you wanna just make sure that the kind you have is the correct kind, and you're not running it during that, because you don't wanna filter out all the medicine before you uh, get a chance to use it. So if you have a carbon reactor or something else, you don't want to turn it off. But, but all right guys, there you go. Thanks for watching as always, happy reefing. Please feel free uh, to leave your questions or comments below. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, make sure you do. Uh, we try to make reefing fun and not just reefing, but a little bit of everything we have at our store from Wally to Frosty, our chameleons behind me. So, those of you who watch regularly, please say hi. Um, Mike Jadis, I'm calling you out, buddy. <laughs> if you're watching, leave a comment. Um, and Gabriel, you always do, so I appreciate that as always. But there you guys go, just a quick, quick update, under five minutes. So have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.